hello and welcome everyone um, in this set of tutorials we would be covering the basics to some advanced level of HTML so HTML stands for hypertext markup language um, and is basically the fundamental thing that you should know in order to start creating web pages so what we'll do is we will start off with something very basic you know try to create a few web pages we will jump into some client side scripts like um, javascript css or cascading style sheets and uh, so on and so forth we will not be covering any server side stuff in this tutorial we'll we'll try to record more videos in the coming sessions so if i just were to put this you know in a very layman's perspective um, it's like you have your computer and basically you request for a web page say google.com or something like that so the way it happens is when you send in a request from your web browser web browser like Internet Explorer or Google Chrome or Firefox or something like that it basically contacts a DNS server which in turn kind of returns the IP address and it contacts the Google servers and basically what you get back is a response of HTML so your browser actually interprets this HTML so HTML is nothing but a set of tags and basically it displays it on your screen so likewise if you hit uh, say yahoo.com again the same process happens it sends something called as an HTTP request and we will not be going too much in detail in HTTP protocols and so on and so forth but essentially the idea is it, it does a DNS lookup contacts the respective servers and the servers return a set of HTML tags or HTML page and your browser interprets it and kind of um, you know shows it on your screen now you know the difference between a client side programming and server side is you know you must have heard a lot of ASP.NET Java and you know so on and so forth these are all server side programming languages so for instance say you need to do say an airline booking just just as an example so what you do is you hit you know a, a website some some uh, booking website and it kind of presents you with a form wherein you fill some details and again send the request to the respective server so the respective server has you know certain code written either in java asp.net or any other server-side languages in which basically um, you know it'll do certain things like process your credit card check for inventory and so on and so forth and basically after after it has done all its work it will it will send you a set of HTML tags and that's what get what gets interpreted in your browser and you see the next screen so that's like the high level overall picture of it so for instance say you hit um, say www.microsoft.com it basically goes to the Microsoft servers and it has returned you know a set of HTML tags for you and that's basically what's shown here now this page may be a combination of many client-side scripts it'll, it'll have a lot of JavaScript it'll have CSS and so on and so forth but essentially what I'm trying to uh, tell you is that you know it's it's all on the browser side that's what you're seeing is basic interpretation of tags and um, other CSS code so you know just to kind of um, go through this real fast if you right click and say view page source it's it's kind of going to give you a huge chunk of code over here and this is basically the HTML and JavaScript that your server has returned so basically when you hit www.microsoft.com your server interpreted that request and send you a chunk of HTML code that your browser that is Chrome here in this case interpreted and kind of showed you this particular page so we will start off with the very basics we will create a very simple HTML document right 
and try to display something on screen and you know slowly we will kind of try to add images create a table um, you know something like that create a link and so on and so forth we'll, we'll try to cover a lot of these stacks but um, you know after one or two videos you will get a pretty good hand of how to create an HTML document after all it's just a set of tags that you need to write now when we go into uh, server-side programming you will have a better idea of how HTML is generated by the server we really do not write an HTML code but we we write a traditional uh, Java or a ASP.NET or a C sharp program and you know that gets translated into HTML and that gets returned to your um, browser